Hi everybody, this is Blackout, and this is a quick review of uh, the Porta Brace, the Porta Brace for the uh, Zoom H4n. The Zoom H4n has taken over as a very, very versatile little recorder, um, especially for people doing sound. Uh, with HD SLRs, specifically the Canon 7D, which I think is a piece of crap. Um, the the uh, the other one, the Mark II, I can't think of it right now. I had I had Canons. I moved on uh, to, to uh, Panasonic. Anyway, there's never been a case for this thing, so Porter Brace finally uh, came out with one. I, I, I'm just going to give a quick review. Um, it works. It protects your uh, thing. It's a rip-off. It's like $70, you know, out of probably $10, $20 of material. But it does work. So you've got a plastic cover in here. You can see all your buttons. On the side, you can get into everything you need to there. There are a bunch of pulleys. Um, you can put your XLRs in, you can tighten it as you need. On the other side, you can open up and get to your levers. You can, on the back, clip it to your belt. Uh, or there are several ways you can you can you can use these little doohickeys here and just attach it uh, with some clips uh, to whatever you're doing. And as you can see, you can easily see the levels, have access. It's on your belt, you're not going to see the levels, but how most people work this thing is they uh, set the levels high, they test the scene, if, say if you have a boom mic coming in through here, uh, they set the levels, uh, you know, a little bit under the hot spot of the scene, and you would move with your boom mic to adjust if there's some screaming going on. You're not really going to want to ride this little slider in here, which is right there. Uh, let's see if I can touch it. So, you know, you can get to everything. And it's not showing. I guess I have bad lighting in here. Uh, you can hit, there's your microphones on top. I've Now I've got one of these little uh, fuzzy things, uh, which it it, it doesn't want to close with that on, but if you didn't have this on, if I took this off, I could close over the mics if I was just using it for a, a boom mic or whatnot. Uh, so it's like three stars. I mean, it's it's very highly overpriced, but then again, it does take this thing and make it look a lot more professional. I come into shoots with this, and people are like. Whoa, wow, what's that? What do you know? And it makes the H4N uh, bump up a bit. Appearance is a lot with cameras and SLRs. And, um, the sound quality of the H4N is good. I definitely recommend you get one of these fluffies. I can't remember the name of the company that does it. Uh, under here are the two mics, obviously, that uh, when you're recording uh, stereo you can go to 120 or 90 degrees, but they're very sensitive, so uh, wind or whatever, you pop this little baby on. Uh, as you can see, without that, I can now close this down, and uh, that's protected, and I have my kit. So, that's the port of race. It's like $75. Uh, I think it's overpriced. I got it the same, just because I, I you can, you can, you can also like connect it right onto a boom pole so that if you're booming you have it right on the pole and you can see your levels and stuff for those of you using this for uh, independent films and whatnot. I had the preamps modded uh, and I'm using a very high-end mic but also some regular mics uh, Dynamic, Shure 58 and Beta 58 it's pretty good so here's my review it's you know uh, it's kind of cool looking. It works. Uh, it should. It should have been mounted where 
it doesn't come with a, a strap. You have to buy the strap. And it should really be mounted to where it's flat and you can see it. But it's an awkward device, so I guess this is the best they can come up with. Uh, if you have the extra cash to throw around, uh, it makes it look cool, cool, but it's, you know, not necessary. But it does protect it from scratches. Probably if it fell, there's some uh, extra protection there. And uh, when you want to use Fluffy, you pull that off and then put your winch socket, windshield, uh, wind bracer, the limb, wind jammer, not official wind jammer on. This, you know, it doesn't want to go on. On there. Anyway, that is, not many people have this, and that's probably why it's priced so high. The port -a brace for the Zoom H4 and three stars, three and a half stars. It's got everything you need. It's port -a brace but it is a ripoff, and there you go. Enjoy. This is Non-Retarded Reviews.